All right, so we're back with part two of the Vitara build here and ready to put the cylinder head on. This cylinder head went to the machine shop and got decked just enough to clean it up and then hot tanked. Um, they vacuum checked it and everything was sealing, so they didn't do a valve job. I'm going pretty, pretty budget build on this one, so everything else is staying stock. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Um, so I had actually ordered a Felpro head gasket, and then I noticed that this this Felpro gasket that I put on about a year ago, even though there were no symptoms related to the head gasket, you can see it blew the blue coating off of the Felpro. I'm not saying that it was an issue with the gasket, it was probably the sealing surfaces. But regardless, uh, I decided I wanted to go with a Honda OEM head gasket instead of another Felpro one. I just think it'll be higher quality than the, than the Felpro. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, got our torque specs pulled up on the screen. Let's get this head on. Okay, I got the head bolted on. I used my ARP lube on the head stud washers and nuts. Uh, there's a lot of controversy about what to torque these to. These are the ARP instructions that come with these head studs and they recommend 60 foot pounds in three equal steps. So I went 20, 40, 60 using the factory torque sequence. So now I'm going to get the camshaft bolted in and uh, the rocker shaft assembly and we'll see how the timing marks line up. With the block and the head having both been milled, we'll see if we end up having to use an adjustable cam gear or not. All right, I got the rocker shafts bolted on. Got my Honda bond under the first cap and the last cap so I don't get any oil leaks. Uh, I'm not gonna adjust the valves right now. Nothing should have changed since I didn't actually do any work to the cylinder head. So once the engine runs and warms up, uh, I'll shut it back down, take the valve cover off and adjust the valves. Got some other stuff going on in the shop. We got Travis and Matt over here working on my truck for me. A couple dogs laying around. So I got my timing belt installed. I just want to show the mark on the cam gear or the crank gear versus I know that's hard to see but there's the mark on the oil pump and then my marks on the cam gear versus the cylinder head so everything is lined up nice I don't think the machine shop took very much off the head or the block it doesn't look like I'm going to need an adjustable cam gear to get everything in line it's it's lined up perfectly Good tension on the belt so we're good to go there all right so this engine's all put together now uh, I didn't show it but I did install the spark plugs and I gapped those to 25 thousandths for now at 10 pounds and I'll probably bring them down more when I go up to 15, 20 pounds. Uh, not a whole lot else to say about the long block. 
I took it out of the car with the intake still on there, but I'm gonna put it back in without the intake and a couple of the other brackets just to make it easier. And I'll put that stuff on once it's in the car. All right, so that's gonna be it for part two. Thanks to Trav and Matt back here for coming and hanging out today and helping. Got the long block all put together. I'm gonna get it in the car now. I think I'll do a part three of installing it in the car and getting it all fired up and everything. So stay tuned for that.